Thank you very much. And I want to talk to you about being a customer as a human being. You are the world experts on digital marketing. How do we create magic for our customers? Not how do we get them to click through, not how do we get them to buy product, or how do we get them to view pages, who cares? But how do we create magic? Magic for your corporate customers. I was talking to some of you today, you're telling me that a huge problem is your customers don't get it. Your big corporate customers are stuck in a last century pre-digital time warp, right? And part of your whole job is consulting with them, helping, dragging them into the third millennium. And on the other hand, you've got the customers who are in mobile, multi-channel, omni-whatever, and they're rushing out the door, away from all the kinds of pay-per-click stuff we've done for so many years, with, the, with your buying customer over here, and the people they're trying to reach over there, and you're stuck in the middle somewhere, trying to join them together to make the transition. See, there's one word which will drive the future of your business more than any other. It has driven the last 300 years of human history. This word is more important than economics, more important than innovation, more important than digital, more important than communication. It's more important than globalization. It's more important than just about anything. What is the single word that will drive the future? <laughs> even more important, <laughs> even more important than mobile. <laughs> you know what, my friends? Even more important than mobile. <laughs> let me explain this one word, this one word. See, let me tell you a story. I was late for an event. It was, I, was, I was due to speak to 2,000 people in the ballroom of a hotel with 27 stories. And of course, I'm stuck at the top. I'm stuck at the top of the 27th story. I'm late for a rehearsal for an event tomorrow. And the lift isn't coming. One's broken. The other doesn't seem to work. And I'm tempted for a nanosecond as I'm stressed out, trying to get through, trying to get down. I'm tempted for a nanosecond to do something totally crazy and to touch that lift button more than once. Now, I know that you would never even think of doing such a crazy thing. <laughs> OK, put up your hands if you have thought about it. You would never do it, but you have thought about touching that lift button more than once. Come on, let's have a look. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Don't worry, the video is looking in my direction. It won't catch your faces. OK. Now, put your hands up if you actually did it. <laughs> OK. Put up your hands if you talk to the lift. Come on. Come on. <laughs> OK, put it your hands if in the last 12 months you have talked to your car. <laughs> you see, I talked to 5,000, 1,000 airline pilots recently, and I discovered that every airline pilot in America talked to their planes as well. Come on, baby, it's time to go. <laughs> what we learn is that you are the most rational, logical, analytical people in the world. You spend your life st studying bits and bytes and, uh, and, and focus groups and, 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 and targeted groups and goodness knows whatever programmatic software you can get hold of and all the latest fantastic tools that Google will provide. But I know that under this surface, there is something else that's running. What is this most important word? Of course, it's emotion. It's passion. If you want to know the future of the European Union, it's to do with passion. If you want to know the future of what happens, let's say, with uh, uh, the refugee crisis, you think that one child whose body was discovered on the beach was not the first child that died, but it captured emotion. Policy changed, and within hours, 800,000 people were welcomed into Germany. Emotion. I'll give you another example of emotion. A 20-second event hit Japan. It caused another 20 seconds, a crack in a nuclear reactor. As a result of that 40 seconds of human history, 40 years of energy policy changed because in Germany and Japan both cancelled nuclear. That has had a profound effect and will affect the energy markets globally for a generation. But in the UK and in China we had a different emotional reaction and we both pressed the boom button for nuclear. And we've both committed ourselves, both countries, to one of the largest expansions our countries have ever known in nuclear development, at the same time as Germany and Japan cancelled. Why is that? Because the future, my friend, is not driven by events, it's driven by reactions to them. And it's the same in marketing. We know that this is true, but it plays out in the area of trust as well. I suggest that one of the greatest reasons why this partner program is so important is because of the issue of trust. I face that today. The reason why I'd spent my time milking all the contacts I could find at lunchtime is I have a client who needs an agency he can really trust to deliver something fantastic for a really exciting startup that is growing 60% per year with really bad 
really bad digital marketing, and it could be so brilliant. Where do I start? I start with Google Partners. Why? Because it's all about trust. I suggest to you, trust is the only thing that they sell. It's trust. It's not even based on past performance of other companies. It's that actually we'll take care of you, that we'll put our best people on your job, that we will tweak it and, and, and optimize it, and we guarantee you'll get some fantastic results. And we will engineer the thinking inside your own business at the same time. So all the stakeholders really get it and will grow your business together. It's all about trust. Trust, you see it in banking. Without banking, without trust, you have no bank. Without trust, you have no toy shop. Without trust, you have no hotel. And you certainly, actually, uh, there are issues of trust, too, within our own uh, systems right now. I'm not, I don't know what percentage of the mouse clicks through these systems are driven by bots and, and, um, and crooks and criminals. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not an expert in this field. I do know that there's a perception in some of the big customers that it's an issue, and this creates a challenge of trust. 